Yeah, I think maybe the most interesting minus one moment I had was when I was nearing the end of my PhD. And the thing that I was working on was super intellectually stimulating. I was working on this stuff called dynamic binary translation. And I was just like, yeah, I got to go find something to do where the thing that's the first priority is impact. So I left academia. I got super lucky, got a job at Google. How should a founder think about like building in this world today. A lot of it is signal to noise. And like, there's just a bunch of false signal out there right now. Like you got a bunch of people whose business model is getting clicks on articles. If you believe the things that that particular part of the ecosystem is uh, sending to you in terms of feedback, it could be that you're steering yourself in exactly the wrong direction. I think the chat GPT example is like maybe one of the most instructive things in the world for entrepreneurs right now. So the model that became the engine for chat GPT was pretty old and like not a single one of us looked at this thing and said, oh my God, like this is going to be the next great consumer product that's going to potentially become a trillion dollar company. There are these nuggets that are out there right now that are extraordinarily valuable that if you just did the damned experiment, the cost of doing the experiments has yes. never been cheaper. So do the damned experiments. Yeah. Try things.